JJ, the CPA here. Hope you're doing well. This just in, hot off the press, dear Western, how do I fire a client? Well, this is a great question, common question that I get when I'm teaching at seminars with Western CPE. It comes down to this immediately, quickly, swiftly, with clear communication that is absolute. So when we look to some authority, as in the guidelines, what we can look to is the American Institute of CPAs, and they have some wonderful examples of withdrawal letters. So I know we're talking about firing a client, but more what I want you to think through is you are better putting your client in somebody else's hands that is better to be taking care of that client. That doesn't mean better than you. What it means is that client specifically has different needs or different expectations that doesn't match you or your firms. And it's nothing that we should feel bad about. It's just a reality. You know, the professional code of conduct requires us to perform our services with due care, objectivity, and integrity. And that's where we can gain some confidence in knowing that if we are withdrawing services, we have to know that it's really going to be for everybody's best benefit, even if it's just for yours. So with that, a letter in writing clearly stating that you are withdrawing services as a specific date and indicate what their upcoming future due dates are related to anything that they have in their tax picture. You're also wanting to communicate any expectations that you have, such as if you are to communicate with a third party to help ensure a smooth transition, you need to communicate that in that letter and how much time you're going to require to be able to respond to that. One of the things that I recommend, and when I talk with the attorneys that work with CPAs and EAs, is that really once you have terminated services, that is where the liability can begin by you now continuing to communicate to the client on certain matters in a way that the client may be confused on when you have separated services. So this doesn't mean that you're not trying to be helpful, but once you terminate services, what you need to realize is you're no longer their advisor and you need to encourage them to get to their new advisor. So if they have tax questions or what should I do about this and what should I do about that? If you're not their advisor, then under the professional code of conduct, as we can use as an authority, you should not be really answering these questions. Now, you may have a different opinion of that, and that's A-OK. -okay. But what you want to be mindful of, it is time now for your client to move on to the next advisor. Now, there's been many times where I've needed to withdraw services in part because they have expanded their business maybe outside of my jurisdiction that I'm an expert in or in an area that I'm not an expert in. So many times I'm withdrawing services and in that, helping them find another advisor to help them. So with all that being said, what I want you to keep in mind is you are the advisor and if you're advising now for your client to seek another advisor, then stick to that and that direct timing. Should you provide a reason or an excuse? Well, when you withdraw services, it no longer matters. It doesn't matter why, because what does that create? A prolonging of the separation of services, as well as potentially creating liability in terms of your client having a clear understanding of when you have, quote unquote, parted ways. So it may feel uncomfortable, but I'll tell you this. When I withdraw from clients, I ensure as best possible that I've wrapped up everything that I possibly can to ensure that they're not under any dire straits or short fuse of upcoming tax deadlines. So a popular time, I think, for us to make these decisions would be in May in the tax world, which is after the tax deadline, but well before any extension deadlines, or in November, which would be after, of course, 
hopefully everything's been filed for the prior year with then enough time before year end to be able to have that client find another advisor. So don't sweat it. You're doing the right thing. And however you go about it, make sure that you feel good about it. And that's probably your real answer. All right. So if you have questions for Western, send your email into dearwestern at westerncpe.com.